we're back for the NAB Show Centennial Event, the pinnacle event for all in the global broadcast, media, and entertainment industry. Capitalize, content, and create. We've got everything you could possibly need right here in Vegas. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Ian of TSL Products. Hello. Hello. Hi. So Ian, can you tell me about TSL and how you land right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Yeah, so TSL Products, uh, we um, really have three control, um, audio, and power offerings. Those are our, what we go to market with, those three products. Um, here we're showcasing our audio monitors, our control solutions, um, and our power solutions. And so, can you go in depth a little bit on some of those new products that you are showcasing? Yeah, so here we have um, our new um, audio line or new product within the audio line, um, enabling IP workflows with audio monitors, um, both for operational requirements all the way up to engineering needs. So you can um, have an audio monitor that can do channel select on multiple channels, multiple um, 2110-40 streams, uh, multiple channel selection from the panel, um, and also operational surfaces that uh, allow operators to quickly select which channels they want to monitor um, all from the front panel. And those are now in Dante, um, AES67, ST2110, um, along with your traditional MADI and SDI workflows. On the control side, um, we're really showcasing our new applications in SCUDI and XConnect, so that's IP routing, 2110 routing, um, and then also deployment. So deployment options now for the cloud, deployment options for virtual environments, and then also a new hardware appliance, um, which has been updated uh, for the modern security standards. And can you talk a little bit about some of the trends you're noticing? Yeah, so a lot of what we're hearing is about cloud. Are you guys moving to the cloud? We need to put live production in the cloud. What do we have that we can help those workflows run in the cloud? Um, a lot of what we're doing is with Tally, SCUDI, live production workflows, basically enabling our customers to put their talent where they need to put their talent, put their media processing where they need to put their media processing, and put their operations where they need to put their operations. And we really want to meet those different groups where they are. So if the if the processing's in the cloud, we'll put our processing in the cloud. If the talent is in a studio, obviously we'll put tally lights in the studio and light cameras. Um, and then for the operators, they could be running at home, they could be running in the studio. They may do multiple events that are spread out across the country, all from their home. We would just want to be able to enable those workflows. And can you talk any bit about what we might expect from TSL in the future? Yeah, so we're continuing to focus on those remote workflows, focusing on customers' workflow requirements, where they are, and then the technology that enables those things. So it's a lot of web-based uh, operations, um, control surfaces that customers can browse to from their iPad uh, or their iPhone, um, and then really working on those long-term workflows wherever those customers may be, in the cloud, on-prem, or a mixture, a hybrid. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. We hope you have a great rest of the show. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.